$1 dinghy and I got the wrong size plywood. <laughs> Sorry, Pete yelled at me. <laughs> no, he didn't. Did you maybe you did? In a friendly way. <laughs> Emily! It's like, Emily, you didn't read the directions. <laughs> okay, I gotta start from this direction. Here's our plans. Best laid. And they're, uh... I have to cut this in half Three. Though, from this thing. And we've already lofted this. We got this all lofted. Yeah, so it almost is starting to take shape yeah. of a boat. Courtney is definitely the brains behind this operation. I have no idea what I'm doing. Good morning. I am in a much better mood today. I've been in a foul mood for the last couple days been camping out at the shop because the Volkswagen had broke down. The brakes broke. Actually what ended up happening, and this is a little bit of story time for a minute, the front tires were towed in. I was getting really bad wear on the inside of the tires. Um, when I got new tires on this three years ago, I when I replaced them, I noticed the tires before this, they didn't have any wear or tear on them. They were just more dry rotted, probably just from the bus sitting for so long. So we had assumed that the alignment was good. You know, we just didn't know. Now we are finally back in order. And next thing that happened, I'm about ready to just give the bus a middle finger. <laughs> How many times have I said that? Anyways, we fixed the window regulator, the window piece that had broken on the Volkswagen and made it so that we couldn't roll our window up and down. Well, that's all fine and good. Urgh, there's a giant scrape all down my window, just all down the tent. I don't know, I've looked in there, I don't know what, oh. Last but not least, Pete's 65 Ford. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Is that not amazing? <laughs> Building a dinghy. So here we are. <laughs> back dinghy. in the wood shop. I'm taking over uh, Courtney's YouTube channel. Yep. And uh, I've enlisted her help to build a plywood dinghy. A one sheet plywood dinghy um, and we got it all lofted out yesterday halfway through the plans realized I had bought the wrong size plywood so here we are again day two but we're, we're gonna go twice as fast lofting it out because now we kind of know these are kind of the plans where uh... and it's it's kind of weird because the the way the plans are it says seven foot three inches and then it says like point something on it. Which yeah. Is like, what does that mean? So we're just using like little tick marks um, in a unit Seven of measurement. Three I don't inches know. inches six. So I'm thinking like the six little ticks on the, I have no idea. We're just Seven trying to be consistent. Three. And uh, yeah. There's the end of it. Seems long. We'll check back in once we have something more for you. Doing a lot of this. I need a square, I need a square. Pete took my square. Pete took my square. This is my job. Point two.
So now it's starting to take the shape kind of of a boat. I'm not sure if uh, that comes through on the camera because I can't see what I'm filming. But um, I'm already starting to think of her name. What do you think it? <laughs> we'll see. See how she comes out. Pete said I'm not allowed to think about paint yet. Should have built a Phil Bolger. <laughs> We're building them. This is probably based on a Bolger brick or something. Right, it's it's based off there. some like uh like uh Southeast Asia fishing boat. Yeah, culture. We're cultured over here. Let's find where it would go here. Yeah, about right there, huh? Because that's where it fits. So let's say right there. So mark that with a. Mark it on this side, Courtney, so you can on see. On this side? Yeah, just mark it there. Right there. All right. Then you spin this. No, just take this down that way, Cut it. just like this, and see if it'll Oh, fit. yeah, that's true, yeah. Oh, you didn't mark where this came to, though. Huh. Mark the end of it on the plywood. Hey, wait, how wide is the video? It's uh, it's actually wide. Okay, so I can, I am getting. It looks like this line, right okay. where I thought it was. Okay, okay I marked that X because I thought that's where it was. So then you did good. Add up on that, you should be able to get this. Oh yeah. Well, no, it's right here and here. You gotta. Just gonna leave this to the professionals. No. Good pan. Okay, we're gonna cut that half. Wait, is it going? It's making a. It's beeping. Oh yeah, it's going. now started. We've got it kind of blocked up to bend it. And then um, this is screwed in so that we can bend this around the other side. Going to do that to the other side and then the same for the front. And then we're going to do we're going to glue this together with stitching glue. This is a one plywood dinghy. It's seven feet long and uh, it's based on a Polynesian design something Emily had found online. Um, if Emily's watching this, put a link in the description of where you found this dinghy. We'll see how it works. Why not? One piece of plywood? Give it a try. It's kind of a fun project. I've been having a lot of fun doing it. <sighs> and then, next thing I've been kind of thinking about is really what I want to do with the Pacific Seacraft. I, uh, I got the gel coat. I kind of think maybe I should maybe roll a little gel coat today. Did he ever grind this? We fixed all the motor mounts. I fixed that hole down there. I just got to glass that hole. But I got some more gel coat. Maybe I should do some gel coating.